Right guys, another quick video here on Bristol last night, or should we say Labour MPs this morning, when questioned about what happened in Bristol. Now personally, I don't care about what happened there, because when BLM rioted last year, the police in Bristol allowed them to do it with their chief saying this to the BBC, literally not long after the Coulston statue had been torn down and thrown in the river. We know that it's been a historical figure that's caused the black community quite a lot of angst over the last couple of years. So whilst I am disappointed that people would, would damage one of our statues, I do understand why it's happened. It's very symbolic. You might wonder why we didn't intervene and why we just allowed people to put it in the docks. We made a very tactical decision that to stop people from doing that act may have caused further disorder and we decided the safest piece to do in terms of our policing tactics was to allow it to take place. Should you have stopped this happening? Should you have protected the statue? So our policing style was from the outset low key. We were not able to get to the statue in time to protect it. And once it had actually been toppled, there was clearly a pre-planned uh, attempt to bring that down. They had grappling ropes and they had, uh, and they had the right tools. So once it was down, we made a decision. The right thing to do was just allow it to happen because what we did not want is tension. Some people will say that maybe that was the wrong strategy, that you should have intervened, intervened and, and challenged this behaviour. So I understand why people might think that we should have intervened and challenged, but this was a very difficult policing operation. There's a lot of context that sits around it, and I believe we did the right thing. No regrets? No regrets. Now couple that idiot there with the general actions of the police in the UK, harassing people for sitting on a park bench or walking down the beach. As we all know, public sentiment towards them has evaporated like a fart in the wind, and rightly so given their actions like I said. This is why I don't actually care. I defended the old bill last year against these far left scumbags as you might know. Since then they have literally thrown it back in our faces almost every day. It certainly won't happen again in relation to me defending them. Even if, as you know, I absolutely despise Antifa and these far left tosspots along with anyone who goes down there and causes trouble just for the sake of it, which let's be honest this is what they're doing. Or should we say maybe for the people who pay them. But in this video here, like I said, we're actually talking about a Labour MP and die-hard Corbynista Nadia Whitom, or whatever her name is, who, as I expected, refused to condemn her political allies from rioting. She did this on the Politics Live show this morning, the complete and utter idiot, opening herself up and Labour to being shat on by the public once again. At this point, I really don't know who runs the PR for Labour, but they often do a piss-poor job of it by sending out these idiots on national TV. They're almost as piss-poor as pretty piss-poor Patel is on immigration at the moment, especially with their planned amnesties that I will do a video on shortly. But back to this shit show, sentiment towards the police has obviously gone down the pan, but everyone and their mother obviously hates far left scum like Antifa and that charging around causing trouble. As even I do, I just obviously don't support the police anymore. But take a look at this clip earlier from Politics Live to witness yet more mental gymnastics from a Labour MP, who as we know at this point likely fully supports all of these protests and everything that the far left losers go on to do. Nadia, do you want to take this opportunity now, having list listened to the rest of the panel, Keir Starmer, your party leader has also condemned the violence along with the mayor of Bristol. Do you want to condemn the violent scenes that we have just shown all our viewers uh, from last night? Of course, Joe, I don't want to see violence against anybody. So you condemn um, it? I, and I wish everybody who's been hurt in this a speedy recovery. I'm not going to, as I've already said, I'm not going to get into the business of condemning protesters until we know exactly what's happened. Right, but, you, we, but, but if uh, you're condemning the violence, you, you do have to condemn some of those people that we can see quite clearly from the pictures were setting fire to police vans. Um, police officers have been injured and they were attacking the police. Um, responding, actually, to what Anita said as a Labour MP, do you want to just straightforwardly say that was wrong? I don't want to see violence being perpetrated against anybody and I wish everybody who's been harmed, a speedy recovery. But as I say, I'm not going to get into condemning protesters when we don't know what's happened yet. We need a full investigation into what's happened on the side of protesters, as is happening, but also on the side of the police. That's just the function of a democratic society. All right, well, people can obviously make their own judgments uh, about what you've said. 